morning, Almira. Let's get started on today's brain break. So I'm gonna come over. I'm gonna sit on my little, it's called like a, a little wiggle seat here. And let's just give ourselves a moment to listen to the faded tone. So I'm gonna ring this pretty loud. And as you hear the sound dissipating away and moving out, and slowly you won't be able to hear it anymore. Let's just give ourselves a chance to breathe and sit up nice and tall and just listening for the sound. And then we'll start with some breathing with the bells. The first bell, let's take a deep breath in. Then we'll get moving our bodies. And then need one more deep breath in. Good, let's bring our hands to heart center. Let's inhale, open and push your shoulder blades back together like you're trying to squeeze a pencil between your shoulder blades back there. And exhale, bring it back in. Inhale. Ooh, that feels good. Exhale. Really opening up the heart center. Inhale. And exhale. Nice. Tip all the way over to the right, like a little teapot, maybe. Really notice the stretch in the side body. Up and over to the left. Very nice. I'm going to come off my little wiggle seat here and let's do a staff pose or dandasana. So really all that is, is our feet are straight out. We're going to pick up our heels and pull our toes back towards our face. Hands are by your hips and then you push into the floor and you just open your chest here. So we're not very relaxed. We're actually working the lower body quite well and also engaging the upper body. Okay, cross your feet and push yourself forward into all fours. Old Sneaky Back Cow and Mad Cat. Good, just a couple more here. Old Sneaky Back Cow and Mad Cat. Maybe one more time. Push yourself into Downward Facing Dog. Very nice. Let's walk our dogs today. Good. So bending one knee and then the other knee. And now let's come into our plank pose. We're super strong in plank. This is the top of our push-up. Push the shoulders purposely away from the ears. Excellent. Bringing your knees down. Let's try a camel pose. So this one can be hard sometimes for people. We're going to make our legs a little bit wide, like right underneath the hips, so there's some space there. And then I need to warm up my back a little, so I'm going to touch one foot and come back up. Touch the other foot and come back up. Maybe I'll do that a couple of times. And then when I'm ready, both hands are going to go on my feet. I'm going to push my belly forward, head back. If that's too much work, you can just hold underneath your um, top of your hips there and push back. So you can be there or you can be a little bit deeper. This is camel pose. It really opens up your heart. Excellent. Let's step to the top of the mat. Let's do one set of sun salutations. Remember in sun salutations, we're always saying thank you for another day. Another chance to be our best selves and do our best work. Inhale, stretch and reach. Bring your hands together, draw a line down your body. Half lift to lengthen. Forward fold the go deeper. Step back with the right leg and you're in runner's lunge. Step back with the left leg. And you're in plank, you're super strong in plank. Okay, so crocodile is knees, chest, scoot your belly forward, and now we're in cobra. Sometimes it's fun to hiss like a snake when you're in cobra pose. Tuck your toes under, down dog, lengthen. Good job. Walk your feet to your hands. Forward fold, two breaths right here. Let go of any stress or tension, just be with your body in this moment. Good, roll it 
up slow. Like you're uncoiling. Shoulders back. Let's repeat that whole thing. Inhale, stretch and reach. Scoop up some happiness. Put it in your heart where it can live so that when you need it, you can find it right in your heart. Come down to forward fold. Half lift to lengthen. Forward fold to go deeper. Step back with the left foot to your runner's lunge. You can pulse here. I always like to do that, but you don't have to. Step back to your flank. You're super strong and plank. Nobody can break you. I showed you crocodile. You can do that again, or you can do a chaturanga, which is lower like you're going to do a push-up, but my chest is not touching the floor. And then I can rock myself into up dog, which my thighs are off, or cobra thighs are down. They look similar, but you can see my thighs are not touching the floor here. So that's your up dog. Down dog. Good job. Ooh, that feels good. Walk it in. Hang out here for two breaths and forward fold. Purposely, mindfully letting go of anything that's bothering you. And slowly fold up. And come to pose of stillness. Samastihi is the name of the pose. Pose of stillness. In this pose, you always say, I am enough. Say that to yourself and remember how important, how awesome, how wonderful you are. Okay, put your right foot out so that your knee is facing the side and not facing the front. And then put or place your foot. Let's see if it will stay on my pants today, probably not. That's okay. Wherever it lands it is fine. It's a yoga practice, not yoga perfect. Hands can be wherever you want. We're balancing in tree pose. Good job. Let's take this right leg and step way back. Warrior one. I got this. Nicely done. Okay. We're going to put the arms in and open our chest to warrior two. Focus on your goals. Let's do a triangle today. Straighten the legs, take your shoulder and bring it forward and down. Triangle pose. Good job. Come all the way down to that runner's lunge. Go to your plank. Okay, crocodile or chaturanga. I'm gonna go ahead and do another chaturanga. Once you lower, you can hate, stay there for as long as you're strong enough to. And rock yourself up. Good, check your toes out or down dog. Lengthen, walk that in, slowly uncoil. Take the left leg so that you're pointing your toe out so that your knee is out to the side. And then we're gonna put or place that wherever you want into a tree pose. Okay, breathe. Remember your hands can be lots of places. So whatever feels good to you. Step back with that left foot, warrior one. I got this. Beautiful, be strong and proud and brave. Hands come in. Open the warrior two, take a couple of breaths to focus on that which you want. Okay, straightening the legs, both legs are straight now. Tipping forward and I'm just gonna change my body so you can see a little better and down. Triangle pose. Nice job. Remember, you can be up here. You don't have to go all the way to the floor like Mrs. Janowski, whatever works for you. Bend the leg, come into that runner's lunge. Leg back from plank. One more, check that out. I see I'm sneaking in these push-ups here. <laughs> Your gym teachers are gonna love it because you're gonna be so strong. Up dog. Let's go ahead and rest in child's pose. Feet together, knees apart, and reaching forward. Or if that's uncomfortable, stack your fists and put your forehead on your fists. Or bring your arms down by your legs. So play with that, what, what feels good to you. And then we're gonna come up and we're gonna sit again in crisscross applesauce or sukhasana. It's like learning another language. Okay, yeah. Mr. Janowski likes to sit. Get to cast it this way because the hips don't open as well as some of you young people. Okay, let's inhale. This time we're gonna pull the arms in. Exhale, pull them out. So the opposite of what we did when we were first starting. Inhale, pull them in. 
exhale, pull them out. Two more, that feels so good. Inhale. And exhale. Let the hands rest on your knees or on your heart center, in your lap, wherever feels good. We're gonna meditate for one minute. And we're just gonna let whatever thoughts we have float on by like clouds. We're not gonna try to hold anything. So we're just trying to free our mind like it's a big open space right now. And if you have a thought, just let it drift away. Focusing on the breath. Slowing the breath down just slightly. And begin. back to where you are. Bring your hands together. Great job, Tate. Thank you for joining me in the spring break. I hope you feel refreshed and focused and calm and ready to do some more learning. May I know my truth. May I see my truth. May I speak my truth. And may I feel my truth. Namaste.